Welcome one and all, and thank you for joining me for another brand new edition of Diecast Emporium. In today's video, we're going to be reviewing the 150th scale Diecast Masters Transport Series Western Star 4900 set forward front axle, tandem axle with pusher axle ox stampede dump truck. Now the truck itself will be in a gold finish, while the dump box will be predominantly black. The item number, as you can see in front of you, is 71080. This truck is available now as of the filming of this video. If you are new, all of the Diecast Masters Transport Series trucks come in a brown protective outer shipping box, which houses the main models box. Seen here, this is the top of the box with the Western Star 4900 logo, the DM logo, your item number, your scale. Again, if you are new to my videos, all of the models are for adult collectors. They are in no way, shape, or form intended as children's toys, so please make note of that. Now we have our first glimpse at a rendering of the actual model. You can see the gold color for the cab and the black dump box. The back of the box shows us a couple pictures that depict some model functionality, including the opening hood and the working dump box. Finally, we have some more information about the real truck, including the Detroit engine, which can produce 350 to 505 horsepower, depending on configuration. All right, let's get this truck out of the box. Here is our finger hole. You stick your finger in the hole. You pull out the shoebox style packaging. The first thing you are greeted with is the Diecast Masters Transport Series catalog. Again, helpful to keep these because it keeps you up to date on everything in the Diecast Masters Transport Series line year by year, including not just the trucks, but the trailers and containers as well. In the top layer, you have four different mud flaps that you can put on the truck optionally if you want to. And then also two optional exhaust stack tips. I will show you where these go during the assembly aspect of the video. Finally, sitting nice and cozy in the black foam rubber is our actual truck. So just be careful what you reach down and grab on because there are a couple potentially fragile pieces. Grab onto the truck very carefully, take it out of the box, and now you are ready to display it. For assembly, we will start off with the mud flaps. As you can see, I've already put one of our mud flaps on, and the way they go on is you, if you look right underneath, you can see that black hole right here, and that's where they mount. So in order to do this, you stick the little pin in the black hole here, push down, make sure it's a nice, secure, tight fit, and just like that, your mud flaps are now mounted onto the truck. Now, if you don't like the ox body ones, or you just want to change some things up periodically, you can put the Western Star ones on. It, again, entirely up to user preference. The only other bit of assembly that you need to do is put the exhaust stack tips on the truck. What I like to recommend, tilt the dump box up just slightly. Drop your chrome exhaust stack tips into the holes. Make some fine tune adjustments to make sure that they are angled properly. I always like to angle mine off to the left or the right, but of course you can angle yours off to the back if you want to. Again, all up to user preference. With the exhaust stack tips in, your assembly is complete. Taking a look at the detail and decals on this model, obviously the gold metal flake paint finish. Looks quite good on this model in my opinion. You have the black ox stampede dump box. Again, looks quite good. You have your tarp here. Your DOT striping always looks good on a black dump box. Just gives it some stark contrast, gives it some depth to it, adds to the realism and immersion factor. On the back, we've already pointed out the mud flaps, which again, I think look pretty good on here and they're actually rubber, so they do flex, seen here. You also have a standard hitch on the back, so if you do have a 150th scale tag trailer, you can easily hook that up to the back of any of these dump bodies. Coming along to this side, these trucks feature a working lift or drop axle, and again, I will show you that during the functionality aspect of the video. You have these chrome or diamond-plated texturing steps, chrome exhaust, chrome mirrors, chrome tanks, and, of course, the Chrome Western Star bumper and grill. 
The lights also look exceptional along with your turn indicators. You have two rotating beacons on top of the cab. Obviously, they aren't functional. They're just for aesthetic looks and even small indicators on the chrome mirrors. For functionality, we begin with the rolling test and the wheels roll freely in either direction. Let's check out the lift or drop axle. Right now, you can see it is in the carry or out of service position, so that axle is not moving with the other tires because it is not grounded. But by simply moving this knob to the other direction, we can now lower it so that it will move with the other wheels. So it is now dropped just like this. And now, as you can see here as I'm demonstrating, that wheel is now rotating with the other ones in either direction. So now I have moved it back out of service. It is now raised. And as you can see, just like at the start of the video, it is now not moving. That works perfectly. Unfortunately, on the Western Star 4900, the doors do not open, which again is only more of a shame because the interior of these trucks are detailed extravagantly with detailed seats, steering wheel, instrument panels, and it's really quite awesome to look inside these trucks and see all the detail Diecast Masters has put into the cab of these. Moving forward to the engine, you can open up the hood and see the detailed Detroit DD13 engine inside with all the different mechanical components seen under the hood. Finally, we'll take a look at the range of steering. There is some, but it is limited, and that's because of the design of the set forward front axle. It clashes on the fender wells. But as I always like to say, something is better than nothing, and at least you can pose the truck steering with the axle moved in either direction. Okay, let's move to the back of things. Let's test out our dump height. You do have a one, two, three stage lift cylinder, so you can get your dump height to about here. And you can open your tailgate to here. Because it is pinned at the top, it is a friction mechanism. So once you open it, you can pose it or pin it at any angle that you like. You can also swing it shut if you want to pose your truck dumping, but not have the tailgate open. So your posing opportunities are completely up to what you want it to be. So in conclusion, the 150 scale Diecast Masters Western Star 4900 SFFA tandem axle with pusher axle ox stampede dump truck is an excellent dump truck in 150 scale to add to your collection. As I mentioned during the very beginning of the video, these are out now and available from your preferred Diecast Masters dealer. They retail right now currently for around $80 at the time that I am filming this video, so you get good value for your money. Everything works that you'd want it to. The wheels were all fine, working lift axle, opening hood, Decent dump bed functionality, and of course you do have that added bonus of the trailer hitch at the back if you do want to have a tag trailer behind this. As always, I'm Tommy with Diecast Emporium. Thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, take care, be well, be safe. I'll see you in the next review.